Welcome to the Tool Hut channel. Today, we have a di little different dilemma here. We have a 14 Nissan Rogue. The shop has replaced the ECM. I'm going to try to program it with my RD pad. What do you think? Might be playing with fire. Stand by. While you got a second, why don't you go ahead and click that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell if you want to be notified when stuff comes out. I welcome any questions or comments you may have down below. Welcome to the Tool Hut channel. This is Sam. I'm a mobile diagnostics guy, mobile programmer covering the Detroit area. All of the equipment that you see used in our videos is available on our website. If it's not on the website, send us an inquiry and we'll get back to you where we got it or if we sell it or where you can buy it. So today we have a 14 Nissan Rogue. The shop has replaced the engine control module with a new one from the dealer. So we're going to go through the process of programming it, but instead of using a typical programmer like we usually do. We're going to use our scan tool, the RD pad, and we're going to program it online. So to do this, we have to hook up to their VPN and then we have to do a couple other things. But I'm also hooked up to the RD pad, the dongle, with a USB cable. I have the RD pad plugged into a power supply. I got a stable power supply on the vehicle and we're going to access the online programming and program it so let's get this show going hold on okay let's get this thing going so we've got the RD pad up we're going to connect to the VCI we are connected to it with the USB like I st said previously so the original computer is still in the vehicle the one that's being replaced. So it decodes the VIN properly. IDs the vehicle. It's going to do auto search on it here. It sees that it's a 14 Rogue, just like we expected. So I'm going to go to the ECM. I'm going to go to module information. I just want to read the part number of the module here before we start. I'm going to go down here in special functions and there's a readout of the or saving data for the replacement use ECU function. I'm not real sure what it does, but it sounds like what we're doing, so might as well do it. All right, so now I'm going to go to online programming. It tells you to put the USB cord on, but like I said, I've done that already, so. So like I said, I do still have the original computer plugged in. I like just starting the whole process with the original computer. It reads out the part number of the, com the computer. So there's my 
23710-4BA1A. Got a whole bunch of different options. A lot of them are newer vehicles. I just like seeing what's here, so we're just going to scroll back up to the top here. We're just going to choose the top one uh, when we get ready to do it here, so just put the 4BA1A back in it. Alright, so what I've done here is I've got the new computer plugged into the vehicle. We get the same disclaimer. It takes a long time. Put the USB cable on. Blah, blah, blah. I've done quite a few Nissans with the what they call NERS, which is the J2534 program. This is the first one I've done with the RD pad. We can see that it also comes up with 4B1A, A1A. say we're just going to choose the top one because it's got the same calibration number as what we got so it's going to download a file from the internet here so it's downloaded successfully It's always scary when you're using a new tool to do a function, especially something like this, where this is a new computer from the dealer. Um, I can always use NERS to do it, so I'm not super scared, but you know it's always concerning that something could go wrong because it's something you've never done before. But it's just like everything else we do day to day. We always have things that we've never done before, so. It's communicating with the car. Taking its sweet old time. So far, I'm liking this RD pad for different functions. It's not super fast, but it seems to get the job done. It seems pretty reliable. And sometimes speed isn't the the end all. You know, sometimes you need just to know that it can get the job done. Not real sure what all they're programming with the RD pad yet. I know that they're doing uh, some BMW, some Volkswagen, Audi, Nissan, obviously. Rumor had it that Hyundai and Kia was going to be in here at some point, but I don't see it yet, so... Let's take it sweet old time communicating with this module here. And then we get this flash process started. So this is the programming event. The fans have turned on. We're just going to let it do its thing here. Not a whole lot to do, really. Watch the bar go across. But like I say, the RD pad seems pretty dependable, so I'm not overly concerned with some things that it does. And I know I don't get it in the video here, but when you're done, 
I would also recommend doing an idle volume relearn just for just to make sure the car doesn't come back for something silly. It seems to go pretty fast here. Now I did speed up this process, but not substantially. It says programming completed. We're back to communicating again. And gives me the part number before and after. And turn off the ignition for 30 seconds or a minute or whatever it said. So we're going to go back to the ECM. Remember when we saved the data for the replacement computer? Now we're going to put it in the put it in here back go to the writing data for the replacement ECU hit the start button it says it's completed I do turn off the ignition at this point and the car does start and run so I'm thinking right in the data, save my key codes. So thanks for watching. Uh, questions, comments down below. Have a great day. While you got a second, why don't you go ahead and click that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell if you want to be notified when stuff comes out. I welcome any questions or comments you may have down below. All right, thanks for watching. That was a 14 Nissan Rogue. The shop had put a, a new ECM from the dealer in it. We did it with the RD pad. I've done a couple with NERS. Uh, I do have a Consult 3 Plus that I'll probably be doing for a near future video. Uh, just let you know. Also, uh, let me know what you think of this video. Uh, anybody who's got the RD pad, what they're thinking of it. And if you're looking to buy one, uh, go to my website and make an inquiry. Anyway, have a great day.